Hi guys, I'm Stevie G, and uh, yeah, I just want to do a video um, to do some frequently asked questions because I'm getting absolutely bombarded for the PlayStation 4 OpenAT and DMZ. Now, um, I'm getting people abusing me. Uh, you know, for those of you, I understand you're very frustrated, but you know, for those of you who are, you know, going to be disrespectful and aren't going to use your manners, I'm sorry, you are on your own. Either that, or you're going to have to check this video first, then follow the guide. Make sure you do that. And if you're still not having any luck after doing that, then, you know, um, you're going to have to look at some of the suggestions I make in this video. Um, and if not, leave me a comment on the, on the actual PlayStation 4 OpenAT and DMZ video and I will reply to you. Don't leave it on the frequently asked questions video here. Leave it on the main video itself. Alright guys, on with the video. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to look at today is a situation I've been coming across a lot. Now, usually I ask people, hey, how many devices do you connect through? Do you connect through an all-in-one modem router like this? So this is all-in-one, so this has got a ADSL, so it's got DSL to plug it into the phone line. It's got a bunch of network ports to connect to computers or devices. And it's also got wireless built in, so I can connect wirelessly to my iPhone or anything else. So it's got Wi-Fi. Then you've got another type over here where you've got two devices. This one here is an ADSL modem um, router. So it has a router, but it only has one network port here, see? And it's got a power connector, and down there it's got the phone port down the bottom. So, this does have a router built in though. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, but it has a router. So, as you can see, it connects over here to this. Now, this has wireless. So, it's going in here, connecting to this, and this is how you might connect via wireless or or give yourself more network ports because there's only one on that and there's multiples here so I can plug multiple devices into this or connect over wireless um, to this but the only problem with this setup is any, anything where you usually get two routers you've got a router and it has a firewall and you've got another router and it has a firewall and when you get two firewalls you get a situation which is called a double NAT and that there is basically going to mean that you're going to get a strict NAT type pretty much. And unless you can actually, unless you're very tech savvy and you know how to create a network bridge between here and here, you're better off avoiding this whole situation and going out and purchasing yourself a modem router. So, um, yeah, that's what I recommend, guys. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyone that, that also has a situation where they've got a uh, central router, like um, you're going to have this same situation. So some of you have said, hey, look, I live in an apartment block and there's a central router. Uh, basically, you, you're getting this anyway. You've got two firewalls. It's going to be a nightmare. Unless you can get access to configure that central router, you're out of luck. Same thing with some of you guys in universities that have a central router, unless you can actually get access to do port forwarding on that central router. You're out of luck. Sorry, can't help you there. But for those of you who do have access to the central router and, and the other one, I would recommend just upgrading and getting an all-in-one device. You're going to save yourself so many headaches and it'll give you an open net type. So there's only one firewall to be going through, one hardware firewall. So that's what you want, guys. Um, yeah, hope that helps. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to look at is routers that don't do port forwarding, open NAT well at all. Uh, in, here, in Australia here, there's uh, Telstra and Optus. They'll supply a couple of routers. Now, usually, uh, okay, Thompson and Technicolor aren't good routers. I have not found one yet that they have supplied through Telstra or Optus that works well for gamers. I mean, it might be all right if you're a not, not technical savvy user and you just want to use it to browse the web, it's probably great. But to open up your, your network ports so you can actually get a good gaming experience, they aren't good for guys. I'm sorry, 
if you've got one of those, I would strongly recommend going out to somewhere like Harvey Norman or somewhere and getting yourself a replacement. Uh, like if you've got ADSL, get a modem router, right? And you want to look for a brand like uh, Netcom, Netgear or Belkin if you don't know what you're looking for. Um, they're, they're usually pretty good. So um, uh, if you've got another kind of, you know, um, service like a cable or something, you're probably going to want to get a router, just a router. So, but make sure it's an all-in-one router where you've got your wireless and everything built in. I don't think there's anyone these days, at least, who sells them separately anymore. But there used to be cases years ago where, obviously, they would be separate, as you've seen before, with one of the routers that I had there. So, yeah, um, you've got to be careful of those two brands. Uh, and there's, there's probably a few other brands out there worldwide that will do the same thing. And usually what it comes down to is it's either... Uh, you know, be careful when it's a router that your internet provider supplies you um, because if it has custom firmware or it doesn't do port forwarding very well, um, yeah, I would recommend getting a replacement router. So that's the next thing I wanted to cover, guys, for those of you who have those brands of routers or, you know, um, have one that's supplied from your internet provider that is not getting open that even after trying my guide. Okay, so there is another situation that I've been hearing about where people have been asking me about um, mobile broadband, cellular broadband, um, uh, hotspot, mobile hotspot. You know, it's basically like pocket Wi-Fi. So if you've got like one of these devices, like a mobile broadband dongle, cellular dongle, 3G, 4G, whatever you're using, right? If you've got one of these devices, um, unless your, your actual dongle or, or um, pocket Wi-Fi router has a configurable interface so that you can set up port forwarding, I highly recommend checking that with the manufacturer of your modem or your device um, or your internet provider uh, to check uh, if that's configurable. So do some research into that and find out. Um, so that's, that's the best I can recommend there guys is, is try and research and find out if it has a web configuration, uh, or port forwarding. So look up your, your pocket Wi-Fi router model and go port forwarding and see what it tells you. Um, if it's not possible, then you're out of luck, unfortunately. So the second thing, if you, if you do happen to have some luck, the second thing you can run into as well is even if your device is configurable, um, you might run into a situation where some internet providers have something called an SPI firewall, which is a stateful packet inspection. So it's another firewall on your internet provider side um, that actually might also cause issues with gaming. So, I mean, these 3G and 4G devices are extremely fast, but they're not very some of them are not very good for getting an open that type so that's just a bit of a gotcha guys that to to watch out for but the first thing i do is like i said just check into whether your device supports port forwarding now you're either going to have to do that through your you know your device's manufacturer um, or through your internet provider and ask them all right, guys, so the next thing I want to talk about is people ask me questions about, oh, I've got, you know, type 3 or type 2 or type 1 uh, NAT according to the PlayStation. Well, my, in my experience, I've had a, a few different things where I've had people with type 2 and type 3, both on moderate, or type 2 and type 3 on strict. So it doesn't really give you a good indication whether it's moderate, strict, or open. It, it's not very good. It's, it's used as an indication only like it's not it's not something that's definitive it's not going to give you a really good indication of it it's only sort of just a bit of a, a bit of an idea you know it's not it's not great if you want to go and look it up yourself go and look it up um playstation that types things like that um but it's not always the case I, I recommend going into something like call of duty even though i'm not a call of duty fan so much myself I own a copy of it, so go and um, you know use that uh, or a similar game and check what your NAT type is.
All right, so the last thing I want to say here, um, those, are, those are the common things that I've been asked so far. But the one thing I do want to say is if you aren't technically savvy and you are getting frustrated and you've tried this a bunch of times and it's still not working out, then I am a computer engineer. I'm pretty busy, but I will do my absolute best to help you. And if you so need, I will provide my remote hands and consulting service to you you know for a fee obviously because I'm, I'm i'm very busy guys you know and i'm trying to help thousands of people here thousands um so you know the time that i take out to do this um you know i need to i need to i'm not asking for a whole lot but i i want to help you more than anything okay so this is the thing you've got to realize is that i want to help you I want to help you get a good gaming experience. You know, I was once at a point where, you know, like, uh, I didn't understand it when I was younger. Um, you know, and I see that a lot of gamers out there are in a position now where they don't know how to do port forwarding. And that's what inspired me to do my video in the first place. So, guys, if you need help um, and you want if you want me to provide my remote hands service uh just just message me and say hey i need your help uh i need remote hands support all right guys hope these uh frequently asked questions have helped you out a little bit at least pointed you in the right direction if not guys like i said leave um you know your comments on my other video the main video um the open that and uh dmz for ps4 video um so leave the comments on that and i'll do my best to help you guys peace out